Instead of paying almost four bucks for gas, how would you like to run your car on salt water? Now, it may sound crazy, but wait until you see what a local inventor has come up with that could change the world. And as Channel 3's Michael Mara shows us, that's not all he's trying to do. We need to get it to run 100 Retired TV station owner and broadcast engineer John Kansas was not looking for an answer to the energy crisis. He was looking for a way to cure cancer. Four years ago, inspiration struck in the middle of the night. Why not use radio waves to kill the cancer cells? And the best thing that would work as antennas was my, no, I could find at 3 o'clock in the morning, was my wife's spy pants. His wife, Marianne, heard the noise and found her husband inventing a radio frequency generator using her pie pans. I got up immediately and thought he'd lost it. Here are the basics of John's idea. Radio waves will heat certain metals like gold. Tiny bits of that metal are injected into a cancer patient. Those nanoparticles are attracted to the abnormalities of the cancer cell and ignore the healthy cells. The patient is then exposed to radio waves and only the bad cells heat up and die. Killing cancer cells is amazing, but John had also stumbled on yet another amazing breakthrough. You have enough in there? his machine could actually burn salt water. John Kansas discovered that his radio frequency generator could release the oxygen and hydrogen from salt water and create an incredibly intense flame. Just like that, if that was inside a car cylinder, you could see the amount of fire that would be in the cylinder. I can put my hand in here. Put your hand into the beam, nothing happens. Put in a fluorescent bulb and it lights up immediately. At the APV Company Laboratory in Akron, top engineers have checked out John's amazing invention and they were amazed. And we saw it go up to 1500 degrees centigrade, the temperature, and it, it's, it's incredible. This simple Stirling engine is running with the heat generated by the flames coming off that test tube. The fuel, nothing more than salt water. Oh, that could be a steam engine, uh, a steam turbine. Could be a car engine if you wanted it to be. That's the true American innovator, someone that is not looking for something, he just finds it. This is uh, the most abundant uh, element uh, in the world, water, and salt water is everywhere. Uh, and to see it burn uh, actually gives me chills. So imagine the possibilities, salt water as the ultimate clean fuel, a happy byproduct of one man searching for a cure for cancer. In Erie, Pennsylvania, Mike O'Mara, Channel 3 News. That is amazing. We want it now. <laughs> Inventor John Kansas says that if some big company wants to buy up his salt water fuel invention, that's okay. He wants to use all the money to finish his quest to find a cure for cancer.